Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to update Windows 11. And if you are receiving this error, that is 0x8007057. To fix the error, the first step is to run update troubleshooter. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Click on system and then scroll down, click on troubleshoot. Now click on other troubleshooters. Now here you can see Windows update. Click on run and once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer and then try to update your Windows 11 once again. Now the next step is to restart Windows update and background intelligent transfer service. For this, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find Windows update in the list. Make a double click on Windows update and then set the startup type as automatic then click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now with windows update selected over here click on restart the service now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now with background intelligent transfer service selected click on restart the service Now once done, now try to update your Windows 11 once again, but still you are receiving the error message. In that case, use Microsoft's, Microsoft Update Catalog for this. Copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Now over here, whichever update is giving you the error message, type in that update over here. So this is just an example. So when you Try to download it if you see that particular update. So you have to go ahead and write down the name of the update. For example, this is the update that is KB5010474. This is just an example. So whichever update is giving you the error message, write down that update over here and then click on search. Now select your right system. So for me, it's Windows 11. And my system is 64 bits, so I will go ahead and click on download over here. Once the down, uh, once you see this new window, click on this hyperlink. Now, if nothing happens, that means you are using Google Chrome. So make a right click and then click on save as, save link as, and then you can set it to desktop. And then click on save. Now click on this up arrow and then click on keep. Now let the download complete and after the download run this file and then update that particular update using Microsoft update catalog. Now once the download is done, once you install it, restart the computer and then you can go ahead and delete the file from the desktop. Now the next step is to use Windows 11 installation assistant for this copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. Again, it will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Click on it. Click on run or click on yes to allow. And this will load assistant. Now click on accept and install. Now, for some reason, if Windows 11 installation assistant is not opening, in that case, go to the download location. So open File Explorer, then go to Downloads. And then make a right click on Windows 11 installation assistant, then select Properties. And then go to the Compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says Run this program in compatibility mode for. And select Windows 7 from the list. And then click on Apply. Click on OK. Make a double click and then you should be able to open this and then click on accept and install and after the installation restart your computer and your windows 11 should be up to date now the next step is to reset windows update components for this copy all these command these commands are provided in the video description so copy till here and then open notepad on your computer and then paste all the commands over here and then go to file then click on save as 
name this file as wufix.bat and then for save as type select all files and then select the location as desktop and then click on save now go to desktop make a right click on wufix file and then click on run as administrator make sure that you're opening this file as an administrator click on yes to allow now first of all it will stop all the windows update services and then it will run some scans now the scan will take some time because there are a couple of scans and once the scan is complete it will restart all the windows update services and after the restart once this is done restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this process is complete and then try to update your windows 11 once again now if nothing is working use media creation tool to update your windows 11 go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which is ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps should help you to get rid of this error code on your windows 11 computer while updating your windows 11 so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel